Good morning. This is the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for this Wednesday, July 19th. Taking a look at our impacts for today, we have monsoonal moisture streaming on up with showers, wet thunderstorms, even some flooding in the south. However, the leading edge of this moisture could have a mix of dry and wet lightning. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Also, some gusty winds once again this afternoon along the Sierra Front and in the vicinity of some of our larger incidents. For tomorrow, monsoonal moisture moves northwards, becomes wetter in just about all areas where you see the green. However, it's drier up to the north, and a cold front could bring some strong gusty winds across the higher terrain of uh, the central Idaho mountains. Over the past 24 hours, uh, lightning had a bit of lightning up in northwestern Utah on the drier side. Uh, most of the lightning down here to the south was quite wet. You can see precipitation here on the left-hand side. And our fire activity, new fires in the red circles, existing fires in the yellow, precipitation over the past uh, seven days, and the past 30 days quite dry and below normal in all areas. Uh, even the monsoonal moisture here in the south, uh, this is below normal. Normally they have quite a bit more, but it's these areas up here in Idaho and western Nevada especially that have been quite dry. This is reflected in our ERCs. You can see them approaching the 80th and 90th percentiles in a lot of areas, uh, even up in Idaho, watching that drying trend through there. Of course, more moist down to our south. Here's a look at our satellite imagery. The four corners high has shifted to the east. And that's pushing in some monsoonal transport of moisture uh, across the Utah and southern Nevada. We'll see showers and thunderstorms increasing through there. Meanwhile, a trough of low pressure from the Pacific Northwest with these tight height lines will be increasing winds across the Pacific Northwest and eventually across Idaho as we go into tomorrow will be our next weather feature. So looking at the upper level map for today, we see that uh, drier air pushing in with this uh, trough that's approaching the west coast uh, will bring some breezy conditions to our western northern areas. Here's that monsoonal moisture that we're looking at through here. No high risk. You can see where fuels are dry to their most moist, uh, where they've been raining quite a bit. And on the weather maps uh, for today, winds in most areas light to moderate. The, the enhanced colors you see here are actually downdrafts uh, that are picked up by the computer model. So we could see some downdrafts in these vicinities of 40, 45 miles per hour. On the right-hand side, you can see where the uh, model expects precipitation to occur. This will basically be in the green where our showers and thunderstorms will be, the dark green and blues, heavier rain amounts of a quarter to a half inch. Now for tomorrow, the monsoonal moisture remains in place through here, but here's that drier push of air and the tightness of these height lines indicates stronger winds. We have issued high risk for uh, parts of our northern areas across the central mountains of Idaho and into eastern Idaho. Uh, this extends up into some other areas in the northern Rockies as well. For tomorrow, you can see the enhanced winds here in the orange and pink. These are gusts of 25 to 35 miles per hour, so the ERC is drying out quite a bit through there. Here's where the model that suggests precipitation will continue to occur. And then on Friday, um, moisture kind of starts shifting to the east. We get uh, dry air pushing in. The winds diminish a bit. Um, you can see the moisture kind of starts shrinking down. This is where the model thinks precipitation will occur. Um, and wind field overall starts to diminish. Our three-day precipitation accumulation, you can see a good monsoonal push through here. The blues indicate a half inch to up to an inch of rain, lighter amounts in the lighter shades of green. And going further down the road, as we go into Saturday, uh, light winds, a little weak low pressure area developing off the California coast. We start drying things out. And then as we go into Sunday, strong low pressure. We'll have to watch for the possibility of thunderstorms developing along the Utah-Nevada border, maybe to southern Idaho. And then going into Monday, uh, there's a trough of pressure again. Uh, another shot of thunderstorm activity moving up further north into the mountains of Idaho and uh, wetter stuff in uh, parts of Utah. And um, if this pans out by Tuesday, we get drier air pushing in possibly behind the lightning up in Idaho. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Gradual drying um, elsewhere to the south. Precipitation over the next uh, seven days, again, mostly confined to the next few days in, uh, in Utah and the Arizona Strip. And the 8 to 14 day outlook continues with above normal precipitation chances coming out of the monsoon, above normal temperatures in our northern areas, near normal to the south. And this concludes our briefing. Have a great day.